a ton of different bracelets for you to try. In this summer, I love to just fill my wrist full of stackable bracelets, and it doesn't really matter what color they look like, what style they are, I think they look good all together. So I've got a couple of different bracelets for you that have been inspired by me scrolling through Pinterest and on Etsy. And I also found a really cool Etsy anklet, but it was like 10 or $15. And I thought to myself, I can make that for way cheaper. So that's exactly what I did. So I'll show you how to do that now. For all of these different DIYs, you're going to need a bunch of different beads, some different charms, braiding cord, and also some embroidery string, and we're just going to mix and match. For our first bracelet, I'm taking some braiding cord here and measuring out three different strands, one of which is just looped in half so that we do have a loop at one end of our bracelet. So tie that third strand around to create that loop. Tape it down, just because it's a lot easier to work with, and then I'm going to start to do a simple braid right here. Then we're going to add some beads. So a super easy technique that I figured out about halfway through my bracelet was to add all of those beads onto the three different strands and then start braiding. It just goes a lot quicker. So push down a bead and then cross over that strand as if you were continuing to do a normal braid. And then again, push down that bead and then you cross it over. So continue that pattern throughout the rest of the bracelet. When you get towards the end, just doing a simple braid here again. And it looks something like this. Now make sure you do measure it around your wrist so that it is going to fit you and then to fasten this off I just have an extra button here that I decided to use. I always keep these because you never know what you can use them for. So throwing the strands through these buttonholes here and tying a knot off on the end. So all you have to do is trim off your cord after that and your bracelet looks something like this and that's our first one already done. For our second one, I am using braiding cord again here. Probably the easiest one I'll show you today, just unraveling a whole bunch of different cord, all keeping it in one length. And then you're just going to go and fold this back and forth and make sure this is about double the length of your wrist. So once you've done that with all of the colors, you're going to line up all of the one end so that you have a nice loop here with all of your different colors and take an extra piece of braiding cord and tie it off on the end. We wanna create this loop so that we can fasten the bracelet once we're done. Do a double knot and make sure it is as tight as you possibly can make it. Measure it around your wrist and that's why you need to give yourself some extra. I almost didn't have enough to make this bracelet. So go to the other end of your bracelet and all you really have to do is tie all of these strands together in one big Big, chunky knot and this knot is going to basically hold the bracelet together so trim off any of those extra pieces of cord and that's it see you just slide the knot through the other loop and that's how it stays fastened on your wrist for our third bracelet, we are using our embroidery string here. So pick out whatever colors you want and go ahead and measure out four long, extra long lengths because we are going to fold these in half so that we have a loop at one end again. So to make the loop, I'm just tying these in a big knot stuff my finger through that loop so that it does stay the right proper size and then you can tape that down and essentially this bracelet is just a big fishtail braid so if you've ever done that with your hair you know exactly what I'm talking about if you haven't you're just taking the outside strands here and crossing them over to the opposite side make sure that you are picking up the same colors as you do this it starts to look a little like this once you've got the pattern going so again I'm just grabbing the exterior color and crossing it over to the opposite side. So once you do get the whole length of your wrist, you're going to want to just tie a knot off here on the end. I'm sliding a bead on and then I'm going to tie a knot off again and this is how we are going to fasten our bracelets. These are probably my favorite and super fun. You can do them in a whole bunch of different colors and I even decided to make one for my boyfriend. Yes, this is the one I made for him. So guys like them too. Okay, so moving on to our anklet, we've got some braiding cords, some charms and some beads. Yeah, that's my ugly foot. But I'm just measuring the length around my ankle right now. And this is so easy to do. It's a wrap anklet. So all you have to do is stuff on some beads, charms, whatever you want to be on the dangly ends. I chose a couple of gold beads and this charm here. All you have to do is tie a knot, 
knot off when you get towards the end and make sure they're nice and tight my two ends looked something like this and like I said this is a wrap bracelet so it stays open and it might be a little bit tricky to put on here I'll show you all you have to do is fold it in half wrap it around as many times as it goes around your ankle throw that tail end through the loop and then just throw it through that loop one more time because I did find this made sure that it stayed on and you can just loosen it up and and your anklet is done. types of bracelets, different colors, you can grab different beads. Just go to the craft store and go nuts and pick up whatever you want and you can make some really cool different types of bracelets and anklets. Send me some photos when you do. I'd love to see what your creation looks like. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Janelle Steeper. And when you're tagging me in those photos, don't forget to use the hashtag 2DIY4. Give me a like if you enjoyed this DIY video and of course subscribe so you will know when my next video comes out. It will be on Wednesday. <laughs> Cheers. It's not even a word. Hey, I'm Janelle, and ugh. the end. A little bit, yeah.